Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus and here's your word for the day. As we are coming close to the end of our devotions in the, in the Psalms, we are continuing the theme of praising God. And I love this Psalm, Psalm 148, because it's a reminder that our God invites all of His creation to praise His name. Listen to what it says in uh, Psalm 148. It says this, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you shining stars. Praise Him, you highest heavens, you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for He commanded and they were created. And He established them forever and ever. He gave a decree and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures, and all deeps, fire, hail, snow, mist, stormy wind fulfilling his word, mountains and all the hills, all of fruit trees and all of cedars, beasts and all livestock, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princesses and all rulers of the earth, young men, maidens together, old men, children, let them praise the name of the Lord for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for his people, praise for all his saints, for the people of Israel who are near to him. Praise the Lord. Do you get what the theme is here? You see, God loves and cares for all of His creation, but He has a special love for you and I as His followers, um, as His children, because we're created in His image. And He has invited us into a personal relationship with Him. And everything that He has created gives Him praise. How much more should His people, His children praise Him? If there's anyone who should be praising the name of the Lord, it is a follower of Jesus Christ. Every day should be a day full of joy, full of praising Jesus. There's no shortage of praises that are due to our Lord. Because of His death and resurrection, we are forgiven. We are redeemed and we have peace with our perfect Father in heaven. The fact that you woke up this morning and are listening to this devotion is reason enough to praise. And if you need more examples of praising God, just reread this psalm. 13 times the psalmist uses the word praise, not only for what he has done, but because of who he is. His name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. So will you take time today and every day to join all of creation and praise the name of the Lord. God bless you and have a wonderful day.